In just a few hours, NASA's double asteroid redirection test, or DART, will intentionally crash into an asteroid in the name of planetary defense. The question is, can we redirect an asteroid if we ever needed to? Uh, Mike was uh, did a good thing for us. He spoke to this NASA engineer today. Uh, this is fascinating. You're to super me. excited about Frank this is crazy concept. Out over this story. The speed at which they're going yeah. and the size and to be able to even hit it. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, this clearly sounds more like science fiction yeah. than science, but it actually is a pretty simple concept, like a cosmic game of pool. NASA's Deputy Director of the Planetary Science Division, Eric Ianson, told me how this will all play out. So this, this particular asteroid is called uh, Dimorphos. It's a, a part of a binary asteroid system. So it's actually a moonlet. It's orbiting around, just like our moon orbits around the Earth. It's going to be orbiting, it's orbiting around uh, this other asteroid. And we're going to try to uh, hit it at four miles per second and change its orbital period just a little bit. This projectile that you're aiming at this moonlet, um, how much does it weigh? Is this like the equivalent of a, of a fly landing on a watermelon and trying to move it that way? Not quite, it's, 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 still pre it's pretty substantial. It's um, about a little over um, 1,200 pounds. Um, so it's pretty heavy and it's got a lot of speed going with it. So that, that momentum should provide enough. And all we need to do is nudge it maybe 20 to 40 feet in order to be able to, to see a noticeable difference in the orbit. We're doing self-navigation, so we're actually going to see the images coming back from the uh, spacecraft, and the camera will identify between the two different um, uh, asteroids and then go in for the smaller one, and we should get larger and larger and larger and larger as we get closer to it. So we should be getting images back every second, and then hopefully the images will stop. That means we lost signal and the, the spacecraft was destroyed. But maybe we'll also be able to get some images from an Italian CubeSat that flew along with it that will uh, hopefully show us some images of the actual impact itself. So the whole point of this is sort of a proof of concept. Should we need to defend the Earth uh, in the future? Explain how this will help shape NASA's planetary defense goals. Yeah, well, one of the, we, there are multiple aspects of planetary defense. One is to identify the potentially hazardous objects that are out there that are relatively close to Earth. There's probably about a thousand that are about a kilometer in size, which would be pretty substantial. And uh, we've only identified about half. We want to, you know, we're, when the, the half that we know about, no problem. It's the other half that we're worried about to, to make sure, you know, we're, we're trying to find them all. Um, and when we do find one, if one is headed towards Earth, we need to make sure we've got a strategy that works. So this test is the first attempt to do that. And then we'll build our strategies off of that based on the data that we get back from this mission. Do you feel safer? I do. I mean, saying in the name of planetary defense has to be the, like, scariest thing I've probably yeah. ever said. We're at a weird time in the world, but, but I'm glad that people are working on this. Uh, so 4,000 kilometers a second, that's about 9,000 miles an hour. Insane. Whoa. Yeah. We will know tonight in real time whether the spacecraft is successful in hitting the asteroid. It's going to be a few days or maybe even a few weeks, Eric tells me, before we can tell if that asteroid's orbit was actually changed. There's a link to learn more about the mission at WCCO.com slash links, and I have no doubt that tonight at 10 we'll have an update as to whether or not the this was successful. The size of a oh, vending sure. machine? Is that yeah. what they said? That yep. was a A 9,000 mile an hour <laughs> vending machine. This is good science for a Monday. Fingers this is cool. crossed, yes. <laughs>